Okay, here we are back again with Mass Effect. Mass Effect. And we're gonna go probably try at least to finish off these Rachni in this Rachni infested mine. Bye guys. You can uh, hold down the fort while we're gone, right? Yep, I'm sure. Okay. You know, just a little while longer. Um, we're gonna take out the rest of these Rachni. No big deal. Uh, you know, shooting fish in a barrel. It's actually kind of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm taking a certain amount of pleasure um, in shooting the little buggers. So, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, go take care of the rest. Shouldn't be a problem. All in today's work for Commander Shepard. Um, well, that song is... Um, You can fight like a Kroger and run like a leopard, but you'll never be better than Commander Shepard? Yeah. I don't know. Something like that. I'll have to find the song. It's a great song. You should look it up. It's on YouTube. I can't remember who does it. Is it Miracle of Sound? Maybe. One of those? Something like that. It's a good song, anyway. Hmm, yes. Locked crate. Interesting, interesting. I approve. Okay, okay, cool. Should probably save. I haven't saved in a little while. Probably a good idea. Whoa, get out of my way. Gosh, Rex. <laughs> Enemy sighted. Oh, hi. Ouch. to sort of go through and pick them all off because well you know I mean it's it's a good idea in general to pick them all off ah! unless I die in the process that would not be cool did you get it hello there we go that's better Secured. You just have to kind of watch yourself, you know? Oh, like that. Ouch. Oops. Too close. I know. I died. Let's, uh, that's why I save frequently. Because you just never know. You just, you just never know. And I'm like, I was doing really good when I was buying all those barriers, but uh, not so much anymore. Finally, some action. All right, all right, good, good. That's good. Oop, there they are. You know, no biggie. Oh. Yeah, sure, why not? Lordy. Lord 
party. I just, you know, well, they just keep smacking me with their acid is the problem. Not their asses, their acid. Y'all need to start keep shooting it, like... Can you? Please? Just, like... I don't know, something. Like, just get him. Get him! That's all I ask. Perimeter secured. Finally! Some action. That's the last of them. Well. No. Now it is fun. All right, good. Good. I'm I'm happy for you, Rex. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Um well, let's see here. Can I save now? No. Okay. Okay. Perimeter clear. Now I can. Thanks for letting me know, Liara. I appreciate that. Oop, there they are. Oh, I hate it when they just... Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Great. That's the... Okay. Um... Probably get a little more health. Oh, oh boy. All right, level. Got him. That's good. I do like leveling. Leveling is good. Mm. Okay. Ouch. No. No. Insufficient Omni Gel. That's a problem. It's a problem that I can rectify, though. Probably. I mean. I mean, can I do that? Ah, uh, 20, okay, good. Uh, appreciate that, Rex, good. It's, uh, go down this other hallway, but probably. Sure, why not? Records of the Rachni War suggest brood warriors, the male-gendered Rachni, only fight when a hive is severely pressed. It's safe to say you've eliminated the Rachni on, Nep on Nepmos. <laughs> I'm glad. That's really creepy. I'm, I'm super glad that's that's done. Um. And we get some more loot. Uh, salute's always good. And then, um... Yeah, so I just need rare earths now. I think that's about it. I think that's all I need to do here. 
And then we're probably just going to head back to the uh, the Citadel to turn in that last side assignment. Side mission. Okay, that's the wrong way to go. Um, we got to go back this way. Go back this way. And yeah, like, so I need like three more rare earths and like two more, three, two or three more medallions. And I'll probably just finish those off screen. Because finding them can be a pain in the butt when you're doing like the, just the last couple of things, just finding them. Especially because this game doesn't, isn't very good at like telling you when you visited a planet before or not. So unless you like write it down or something. Um, unless you like write the darn thing down, it's it's not. It's pretty impossible to know where you've been and where you haven't been. Um, so yeah, I mean that's it for the listening post quest. As you can see, it's gone. It's not in my journal anymore. It's done. Um, she said there was another listening post that went dark, but I don't remember. Let me check and see if I can find it, because I know she said there was another one. Um, oh, I think there's another one. Uh, in the other system on Six Theta, so we can do that too, I guess. She wanted us to check on it, so we can probably do that. It's in the other system on Six Theta, I think. We can check it, because I don't think I've been to this system at all, honestly. Um, so let's do it. Uh, Acheron? Acheron? Something like that. Uh, for Thoral. Um, I think I... Yeah, okay. I know, I know what we're doing. Okay. So, Far Thoral. Uh, a modest terrestrial planet, Far Thoral has a thin atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and chlorine. The crust is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of nickel. The terrain is extremely rough, a patchwork of craggy, overlapping craters dating back to the formation of the solar system. Farth Farthoral is tidally locked to the star Acheron. The day side has never been fully mapped. Uh, Imnea. Imnea. Though exceptionally large for a terrestrial world, Imnea is composed of water ice with a core of various carbonaceous compounds. It has a density only half that of Earth and an atmosphere of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. The surface is composed of surprisingly pure water ice with a high albedo. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it means something interesting. Oop. Carbonaceous asteroid. Turian Insignia, you discovered signs of battle while scanning an asteroid field in the Acheron system. A small recon and recovery team led by Navigator Presley was able to determine that many of the ships were marked with the Epirus Colony Insignia. Cool. Uh, Grisalgan. An enigmatic rock and ice planet, Grisalgan has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is composed of frozen water and chlorine. And we discovered a light metal, which I don't think we need any more of, but that's okay. Uh, it's okay. Altae. Altae is an exceptional form of planet called a Roche world. Put simply, it is one half of a pair of small and unusually dense terrestrial worlds, Altae and Antae, that orbit each other so closely they effectively share a single atmosphere. This does not mean that one could fly from one to the other, but both have identical atmospheres, and dust from one often can be found on the other. 
Both worlds share an atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. The surface is warm and mainly composed of silica dust and dark basaltic rocks with extensive deposits of heavy metals and radioactives. Tidal effects from Antehe create constant heavy wind. Um, I don't know. I feel like we can probably go with the same team. That seems like a good good team to go with. I did level. I should probably level too. I don't even know what level I am at this point. I suppose I can. I suppose I will see here. I'm currently level forty six. Not bad. Could be better. Advanced throw. That works. I can do that. Sure. Why not? Um, let's do lift. Give you more lift. Uh, let's give you more armor. Uh, it's just this listening post, I think. I mean, there might be some other things here, but we'll just go straight to the listening post. Come out, come out, bugs. Gotta come out of there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go inside and see what the heck happened here. Well, there's some dead people. No sense standing around. Oh, no. No! I don't know! Oh my gosh. This is terrible. This is terrible! I can't do these hard ones. This is when I, um... Just, you know, make our Omni-Gel. Make some omni gel like you would not believe. I'm gonna make so much omni gel. Wait a second, what's this heavy armor, Krogan? Not, not as good as what he's wearing right now. Just making sure. Like, I just needed to make sure. They're the same. Why is this the same? That's ridiculous. They're the same. You, sir, need a much better sniper rifle. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's get rid of yours. That's way better too. Gosh, what is that? A Volkov? Okay, let's do that. We're gonna get rid of that. Let's see what we can do with that now. 25 Omni Gel. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, let's see here. Assault rifle. So I need what, like 25 Omni Gel to. All right, just slap some mommy gel on there. No big deal. Really wanted to finish this in this episode. We're running a little over time.
good. Perimeter secured. Okay. Thanks, Rex, for letting me know. Uh, oh, AIDS. I was gonna say, I need some Medi Gel. Could use some of that Medi Gel. Yeah. Um, alright. I'm just gonna clear this. Figure out what happened here. What happened here? Oh no, there's an upgrade kit. Oh god, I have to loot everything. Please loot. Stop, I just need to loot everything. Okay, so that way is probably the... So what's this way? Is there more evil things or is this just loot? Just some loot, I think. Yep, just some loot. Uh, more decryption. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. What happened here? What? happened here you guys like this is just my job is just like cleaning everything up all the time when people screw up like i don't know let's do some really ethically questionable tests on a bunch of creatures that we don't know anything about that won't go wrong at all ever sure okay shepherd their logs say they received a supply run two days ago the rack and i worked fast hmm yeah tell me about that supply ship this planet is supposed to be uninhabited the rack and i didn't come from nowhere I will need a moment. This base is supplied by drone freighters, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots, to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Wherever it is, there's probably more Rachni there. Let's get to the bottom of this. Right. The Rachni infestation on Altahe seems to be the result of a supply dro drop from Argos Row. The logs downloaded from the freighter should allow you to backtrack the ship's course to its origin. Alright, cool. Alright, so we're a little over time. I'll probably maybe do a little editing to cut this down to closer to 20 minutes. Um, and we'll finish, hopefully, finally finish up this little trek in the next episode. Um, so yeah, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love your feedback, and we'll see you next time. Later!